The second important question that we have about our distribution is how close together or spread out the scores are. This is a measure of the average variability. We have options for how we measure variability. Let's talk about some simple measures of variability such as percentiles, quartiles, the range, and the interquartile range. Let's begin with percentiles. Percentiles report the spread of the data across specific intervals, and they're often used with college admission scores or other performance scores. We might report that the admissions test that you took for getting into college, you scored at the 89th percentile, meaning that you scored higher than 89% of the people who also took this test. It doesn't mean that you got 89% of the questions correct, only comparing you to others who took the same test. In the word percentiles, we see the word per cent. Just like you know that one cent is one one hundredth of a dollar, per cent means per 100. However, we are not limited to 100 units. We could divide our distribution into 10 units, which we would call a decile, or five units, a quintile, or four units, which is a quartile. And quartiles is what we're going to discuss next. A quartile divides our distribution into four equal parts. Those quartiles could be identified as their percentiles. So quartile one is the 25th percentile, quartile two is the 50th percentile, Quartile three is the 75th percentile, and quartile four would be the maximum score in our distribution. Quartile two, the 50th percentile, is also the median. A third way that we could measure the variability within our data is to consider the difference between the highest score and the lowest score, the largest minus the smallest. And this is called a measure of the range of the data. A range is the distance between the two most extreme scores. Unlike other more popular measures of dispersion, the range actually measures the total spread, not the relative spread in the data. As such, the range is measured in the same units as the variable of reference and therefore allows us to interpret it directly. We will typically not use the range with scale level data. We could, but it provides limited information and it is highly susceptible to outliers. Therefore, we will probably use the range with either nominal, ordinal, some kind of categorical data. What was the most popular toy? What was the least popular toy? Measures like that. Now, as I mentioned, the range is susceptible to outliers, highly susceptible to outliers, more than any other measure susceptible to outliers. You add an outlier and it blows out the end of that range. Therefore, a better, more stable measure of variability using the range is called the interquartile range, measuring the variability within the middle half of the scores. Splitting our data into quartiles divides the distribution into four equal sections, 25% of the scores each. The interquartile range is the variability in the middle 50% of the scores, or the measure of the variability between the first and the third quartile. This is the middle half of our distribution and as such would not be susceptible to outliers. No matter what outliers get added, it won't affect the range in that middle 50% of our distribution. How can we calculate the interquartile range? The first thing we would do is put our scores in ascending order. And then we would use the same technique that we used for the median. We are going to use a median split to create the upper and lower half of the distribution. Now we can identify the median. Its value, 3.5. Next, we are going to consider only the lower half of the distribution and again do a median split. The middle score in the lower half is a 3. We'll do the same thing for the upper half of our distribution. 
the, mid, the middle score in the upper half is a 9. Now we can consider the full range versus the inner quartile range. And notice that in this data set, we have an outlier, a number that is not like the typical scores in the rest of the distribution. The range is the high score minus the low score. 20 minus 1 is 19. However, the inner quartile range is the upper median minus the lower median. 9 minus 3 is 6. And note that if we change that 20 to 100, our range would blow out to 99. However, the inner quartile range would not be affected. These are some simple measures of variability. Next, we're going to learn about mathematical measures of average variability in our data set.